All right, so I've started installing the new wiper seal and uh, I've got the top piece on. I've decided to do um, the new wiper seal on the outside of the camper. The old wiper seal was on the inside wall and I never understood why they did that uh, because water can still get in um, you know, to the inside part of the wall. So I decided to put the wiper seal on the outside and on the top part, I'm extending it out past the slide out three inches on each side, uh, past the slide out opening. And then the side pieces, these side pieces here will get tucked up underneath that top piece. And then the bottom piece will be behind the side pieces so all of the rainwater will shed away from the opening nothing will will get in um, past the wiper seal so i think that's going to be a much better way to do it i'm going to throw a couple of uh, self-tapping screws on the outside edges just to kind of hold it in place and then uh, get my uh, side pieces in all right so a couple of self-tappers put in and then uh, of course after everything's all in uh, all of the wiper seal. I'm going to go along the top, around all the edges with uh, some Dicor non-sag. Yeah, all the new wiper seal is put up with the overlap. And uh, I used an adhesion promoter and then peeled the uh, 3M backing off and it sticks really well. I went ahead and just to add some extra security, went along about every foot or so with some stainless steel screws and uh, went into that frame as well. And now it's time to start aligning the slide out. All right, so we've already squared the slide out with the side of the camper. I'm gonna go ahead and run it out just a little bit. <laughs> and um, get the, the slide out up onto the slide out mechanism. And I need to shim the uh, underneath the, the floor between the floor and the slide out mechanism. Because if you recall on one of my first tear out videos when I was pulling the slide out, out um, there were the gear marks um, from this gear uh, in, the, in the rack. Um, grinding into the bottom of the floor on that uh, old Luon. You can see that the teeth on that are raised just a little bit through. Of course, they have to be um, in order to grab a hold of it. But on these mounting holes, on each of these mounting holes, I will need to raise, I'll need to just put a washer in there to raise it up just that little bit on each one of these holes to uh, prevent that gear from grinding into the new floor underneath. So let's go ahead and get that thing lifted up on here. All right, it's partially up onto the slide out mechanism, but what I need to do now is get these inside T-molding strips put on. And I can't have it bolted down to the floor because I have to slide it around to get to these, um, to get to the screws because they do screw from the outside wall and the face. Uh, and then there's a big piece of aluminum uh, angle that goes across the top and of course each side I'll get those on and then we can square everything up and get it bolted in, uh, shimmed and bolted in. All right, so these were the old uh, T-molding pieces for the inside. That's that faux wood trim. And I'm doing the uh, composite. I've already cut them to length and to width. So now I just need to uh, measure in um, where these uh, this angle aluminum goes and uh, get them mounted with screws and adhesive to the back side of the new trim pieces and then we can get them in uh, on the inside of the new slide out. And got both of my T-molding bolsters cut for the sides 
and that'll allow me to uh, get this thing squared up and bolted down to the slide out mechanism and then I can run the slide out out um, tighten everything down once it's square and then this exterior wall can go in um, and after the exterior walls in then I can get the uh, this top piece in okay I've got the uh, slide out squared and clamped in place and I'm going to run my uh, inside screws from underneath uh, just to hold it in place and then I've already got my shims in here I'll go out and uh, put my shims in and put two more lag screws on the outside and then check for square again and then I'll uh, run the rest of the screws in okay, I've got these uh, just a couple tacked in here with the shims and now I'm going to run the slide out back out just a little bit and get this uh, exterior wall set. Alright, so I used adhesive behind each one of these seams here where the sidewall meets the face wall and used three inch coated screws to go through uh, and through the face wall into the side wall and uh, up top here we've got this angle bracket and that's got sealant or uh, adhesive sealant all underneath that as well I just need to clean up the excess all right so for now <clears throat> I can move my platform out of the way so I can run the slide out out and get the uh, lower bolts that fasten the slide out mechanism to the face wall and the floor from uh, underneath. I'll get my my lower wiper seal installed and then that's probably it for the day. I've got my last piece of uh, trim T-molding for the interior cut and got the aluminum screwed and glued and got my adhesive on this side ready to be mounted onto the inside edge of the slide out so i'm gonna go do that right now